it's that time again. Yes, today we are doing a video I normally do every year. Um, it's a bit later than usual because life's been a bit hectic at the moment, but we're still getting this video done because it's a video I like to do uh, to sort of see how my setup changes throughout the years. Yeah, I'm very happy with my computer this year. I think, you know, it's, it's had a few upgrades throughout the uh, the time I've had it. I think I had it in 2020, so it's been going strong for about two years now. So yeah, it's had a few upgrades this year. One major upgrade, really. Um, and there are some little updates I've got planned for it this year as well. Uh, just, you know, timing and stuff didn't really favour me, but it is what it is. This is the 2022 computer build. It has not changed since uh, the new year, so... You know, it's 10, it's still my 2022 PC. But yeah, it's a good PC. So enough waffling. You want to find out other specs. So we're going to start off with the CPU, and that's an AMD Ryzen 7 2700X, clocked at 4 gigahertz. Yeah, this CPU, it serves me well. It, it's, I've had no issues with it. It does what I need it to do. Uh, it's never been overly taxed by anything this computer does, so I, I think it's, the, it's a great CPU. I don't think I need to upgrade it anytime soon. Now, obviously, I've toyed with the idea of upgrading the CPU because if you own a gaming PC, you do spend quite a bit of your time thinking, oh, maybe I could upgrade this part or this part, but realistically, my CPU does not need upgrading. It is perfectly fine for what I need it to do at the moment. Uh, the RAM has not been upgraded since I uh, since I put it in. It's, it's a 16 gig kit of Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 RAM does what it needs to do i don't need more than 16 gigabytes of ram obviously i've toyed with the idea of you know putting another 16 gig kit in there but i don't need it what would i use 32 gigabytes of ram for maybe opening more tabs on google chrome but i don't i don't need more ram that's as simple as that and then we move on to a component which definitely has been updated and that is the graphics card i'm now rocking an asus geforce rtx 3060 tough gaming edition i'm very happy with this I got my hands on an RTX card at a very, very good price when I purchased it. And yeah, I'm extremely happy with it. This RTX 3060 has served me really, really well. Now, uh, this was as soon as like the CPU, uh, the GPU market plummeted. So I could have got it a bit cheaper. So yeah, I went, I went a bit overboard with the GPU. I considered both price and the amount of VRAM it has. I wanted to have more VRAM than my 1080 and well. This is the beauty we got. So yeah, I did I did pay a bit more for this version, but I'm very happy with it. It served me extremely well so far. Move on to the motherboard. Now this is the same motherboard I've had since the PC's inception. This is the ASUS Prime X470 Pro ATX. Lovely motherboard, lovely um, RGB. I'm a big fan of it. Very happy with this uh, motherboard. It has done everything I needed to do. You know, it's got I'm, I'm pretty much using all the slots I can on this motherboard in terms of like USB and like the um, the UI and stuff um, and I think it was a good pickup because it goes well with the, the white theme of my I say the white theme of my build it's really just the case and the motherboard which are white because I was not going to splash out for a white GPU that's that's silly money <laughs> but yeah I'm happy with it uh, then we move on to the PSU this is the EVGA Supernova G3 550 watt yeah it's GPU 550 watt could maybe have a bit more power for the graphics card but it's not served me wrong at all so until it starts struggling i'm not going to change it you know it's power supply uh, but yeah it's uh, 550 watt does what it needs to do on the tin move on to storage now we've got a 500 gig ssd a one terabyte ssd a three terabyte hard drive one terabyte hard drive and an eight terabyte hard drive yeah a lot of drives because uh videos take up a lot of space surprisingly and i make quite a few of those a year so um it's definitely something that will constantly upgrade on my computer i would be buying more storage space um, as and when i need it the latest edition was an eight terabyte hard drive uh, for videos um and i think i'll probably buy another eight terabyte hard drive but yeah i just like having plenty of storage i mean if you look at my drives most of them are in the red for storage now i could go through and delete all the files I don't need. But that's that's a lot of time. Now for case we've got the Corsair Carbide Series 275R in white. Now this is a beautiful case. I'm a huge, huge fan of it. Um, I love the aesthetic it has. It's very, very simple, but it just looks so clean. So until the time comes where I want to make a new PC, um, I'm sticking with the Corsair case because it served me very well. Um, I've had no problems with it. It's, it's an absolutely wonderful case. Move on to my monitors. Yes, I am rocking a three monitor setup. I'm rocking with two HP Pavilion 20Q CDUs at 60 hertz. These are 21.5 inch monitors. These monitors I've had for a really long time. I'm looking to upgrade one of these 
HP Pavilion monitors in the near future, um, hopefully to the same monitors one I have already, which is an Acer Nitro VG270 at 165 hertz. This one is a 27 inch monitor. It's my main monitor that I'm using right now. Um, so if I had two of these, I'd be very happy with that. Um, but for now, these monitors have served me well. I normally use um, one in vertical and one in landscape. So the vertical one will be for like my Discord, you know, Spotify, reading the article on the politics of Latvia, you know, the, the usual things. And then we've got the monitor on the left, which is normally like for YouTube. And then the middle one, which is where I do everything else. Yeah, the only thing I would change is getting another 27 inch monitor, but I wouldn't mind having a 21.5 inch monitor as the vertical one because it, it, it's got enough real estate for what I need it to do, you know? And also, I got this very cool live wallpaper which you've been seeing through these, these little shots of the things I have. How cool is that? And then move on to keyboards, and I've got the Corsair Strafe with Cherry MX Brown switches. Now, I know if any keyboard enthusiasts are watching this, I might get slaughtered for liking Cherry MX Browns. But they were the best switch I tried at the time and I still have no issues with them. I do understand why people don't like them and that is very fair. And if I were to get a custom keyboard made, I would definitely not have Cherry MX Browns. I've had it for a very, very long time. But I'm a big fan of it. I've, I've always liked Corsair's keyboards. I think this is the one of their greatest keyboards they've made for the volume I got it for. Um, while I wish it did have different RGB options, I've just come to accept the red. You know, it's fine. It doesn't really ruin my day yeah, it's just a lovely keyboard i've used it for a very long time it's had copious amounts of coffee spilled on it and is still working so i can only respect that and to complement the keyboard we've got a corsair mouse as well i have a lot of corsair components in this computer yeah i just think they're a really great brand they make some really great products um i've had nothing but good experiences with corsair products apart from one mouse which the squirrel reel broke but yeah i'm a fan of the corsair scimitar it's been my favorite mouse for a number of years now and it's mainly down to that um little keypad it has on the side i use those shortcuts to help me record videos help me take screenshots you know do all that fun stuff and then move on to the new headset this is a new headset is the steel series arctis 7p plus now unfortunately my arctis 5s had a bit of an issue with one of the ear cups it fell off um, i could not find a way to get it back on so unfortunately we have we had to leave the arctis 5 behind and upgrade to the arctis 7ps these are fucking brilliant. They're a bit tighter on the head than the um, Oxus 5s were, but I've got used to that now. And they're, it's a brilliant headset. I'm a huge fan of it. Big fan of the SteelSeries headsets as well. This is the second one I've had, and it's absolutely phenomenal. Does not have the RGB on the side like the um, Oxus 5 did, which, you know, a bit of a downside when you're filming a video, but, you know, it's just clean, looks good. I'm a fan. They've got the ski strap on the headband as well, which is a feature I was looking for. I was desperate for this feature because it was so nice on the Octus 5, so I needed it again. But yeah, I bought it for the wireless and haven't used it for the wireless yet. So that is something we'll have to sort out. But I'll, I'm definitely prepared to use it wirelessly. And then move on to the mic. Now, this is something that I am looking at upgrading in the new year. Or this year, I should say, when I'm recording this. It is the, the new Air NW700. It's a condenser mic. Um, I bought it because it was cheap. My mic was dying. So, uh, you know, it needed an upgrade. Um, and while it has served me well, one thing that really annoys me is how close I have to be to get my voice clearly because it is a very quiet microphone. Um, so I'm definitely looking at upgrading in the future. There's a few mics on my radar. But yeah, this is probably going to be the last year you'll see this mic. It has served me well, and like I said, it's a good mic, but it's just too quiet for my liking. So I want something a bit better, but you know, I've not had any issues with the mic. It's just, as I say, I have to get really close to talk to it if you want to hear me clearly. I'd prefer a mic where I can keep it a few inches away from my face, you know, just so I'm not like eating the mic every time I make a video. And finally, I'm not sure if this was the case last year, but I've got a new camera. It is a GoPro Hero 4. Bish, bash, bosh. Bought it off eBay for about 50 quid. Came a bunch of accessories, which I did not need. That's how I'd be rocking the Hero 4. I think I was like this last year as well. Um, but yeah, I use a GoPro as my main camera now. It's just so much easier than setting up my phone and then taking it off when I don't need it. And I just have this ready and waiting. We cannot forget the most important part of this setup, and that is the beautifully fluffy Bella. She's a very important part of this setup. You know, keeps me company on these days where I'd be making the videos. Very cool cat, you know. I don't think cats get enough enough praise on these setup videos but you know i do be loving bella so very important part of the setup you know more important than the computer arguably um i'll leave that for you to debate though so yeah those have been my main computer like components i guess you could say the main things i use on a daily basis 
So um, let's talk about some of the other things. I use a cam link to link the GoPro to the computer to use it as a webcam. I think it's a very common thing nowadays. People are preferring to use cameras over webcams and they're probably about the same price if you want a solid webcam. I have a ring light up here that I bought off like Amazon or eBay uh, for quite cheap. It has three color modes and yeah, it just sits above my main monitor. Um, it's also a good source of light when it's dark like this because the light fixture I have has one bulb that works. So that doesn't help at all. This is a component I really need to upgrade, but it's my Elgato HD60. Um, I've reasoned that I've still got it because I rarely record my Switch nowadays. So I don't really, realistically, I don't need an Elgato HD60 Pro or HD60 or a 4K or whatever. Um, but I do want to get one of the PCIe capture cards in the near future. I've got my Nintendo Switch, which I've been enjoying the new Pokemon game on, Scarlet and Violet. Very good game. It's got a good game library, but I feel if Nintendo strayed away from making consoles and actually just focused on making games, they can make much better, much bigger games for the more powerful consoles. But hey, that's just me. With the Switch, I have this Pikachu controller. Um, I just use that instead of, you know, using the, the Joy-Cons or whatever. Never had an issue with it. Serves me well. And then when I'm playing uh, more console-esque games, I guess you could say, on the computer, I will use this Xbox One uh, controller with a wire. You know, it's games like FIFA, GTA, you know, games which... I think perform better with a, a controller, I will use the controller. That's pretty much everything for my computer, I think. I don't think I've missed anything off. Um, yeah, that is basically the 2022 computer setup for OTGT. I'm very happy with it. All in all, definitely costs over a grand, probably about 1.5k I'm guessing. Um, but that's a, a collection of things over the years and not just a huge splurge at one point. So I guess it makes it okay. And I use most of this every day anyway, so it works out fine. And one final thing before we end off this video, I know it's taking a bit of a tangent, but this is probably, hopefully, the last year you'll see this setup in this room. Yes, um, I'm planning big moves this year, and one of those is to get my own place. I'm thinking of moving out. So this is probably the last year you're going to see this wonderful room, which I've been in for many, many a year. Every year of my YouTube career has been in this room, so that's kind of mad, but it's time... I flew the nest and hopefully this year, 2023, we'll see a new room, which I'm very excited for. I've been over the giant tree. This has been my video creating, game playing, reading about Latvian politics, reading computer. Also, if you have any ideas for what I should upgrade on my computer, please do leave it down below. I'm always open to suggestions. I'm thinking of being a... PCI expansion card which adds USBs to more USB headers to my um, computer. Uh, uh, the PCIe capture card. You know, if you have any ideas of what I should add to my computer, please let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.